some birds are even doing some displays, including the double wing courtship display. But also the single wing flash. Now, Jorgensen, McCarty, and Wolfenbarger's earlier research showed the buff breasted sandpipers significantly prefer fields with soybean stubble as opposed to corn stubble. That's interesting. Now, there's several shorebird species that frequent agricultural fields out here in the rainwater basin. Please go on. Sometimes with buff breasted sandpipers, but sometimes by themselves. Hmm. Some of the more frequently observed species include the American Golden Plover. Baird Sandpiper, Upland Sandpiper, Pectoral Sandpiper, and of course the common killdeer. Anything else you'd like to say? Now the buff-breasted sandpiper is a tier one species in the Nebraska legacy plan. Now wait, what the heck's a legacy plan? What's a tier one species? Let's go to Mark Humpert, diversity coordinator for the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission, for the answer. This is the Natural Legacy Plan. It's a state wildlife action plan that was developed by farmers, ranchers, conservationists across the state. This plan is being implemented in landscapes like the Rainwater Basin. And it's focused on conserving species like the buff-breasted sandpiper, which is considered at risk. Whoa, this field has a slug of birds. I'm going to take a quick count, and John McCarty is going to tell you the gist of our current research. Our current research is trying to answer the question, what are the birds actually doing here? In order to do this, we have to capture birds and put color bands on them and attach little radio transmitters to them so we can follow them around while they're stopped over here. Wow, 250 buff-breasted sandpipers in this one field. This looks like a great field to try to catch birds tonight. I'm gonna go try to track down the farmer and see if we can get permission. One of the challenges of doing this research is the buff-breasted sandpipers are all out in private agricultural fields. In every case, people have been very willing to work with us and let us have access to their fields. Gaining access is just one challenge. The next big obstacle comes in actually catching a bird, which is very difficult and there's a high failure rate. What we do is we go out at night and spotlight birds. And once we have them spotlighted, then we throw a net over them. Maybe I'll talk to you later if I actually catch a bird. Just a little past 1 a.m. Hi, best friend. Yeah. This sucks getting woken up in the middle of the night and molested by some punk. Yeah. Look at that beautiful bird. As you can see, we caught a bird tonight. Our tent for this season. But it's about a quarter to four in the morning and I'm ready for some sleep. So I'm going to turn it over to John McCarty, and he's going to talk about what happens next, but also discuss some initial findings from this phase of our research. And then Larissa Wolfenbarger is going to close out the show. Good night. i got to get some sleep. <laughs>